More birthdays on the 17th day of July, 1965. For 44 years, Harry Harrison rocked his radio listeners. Every morning, Harry was the voice that New York and New Jersey woke up to. There's something special about being on in the morning. I think it's the most personal time there is on the radio. At the cusp of the rock and roll revolution, Harrison, one of the most popular radio personalities of the past 50 years, heralded in the songs that would change the face of music forever. Those days were unbelievable. That revolution that the Beatles, not only in music, but in culture, in dress, in everything. Harry's career started when he was in his teens. Being homebound for a year due to rheumatic fever, his days were filled with the sounds from the airwaves. My family and my radio really got me through that. And the fellows on, on the air sounded like they were having a good time. Uh, that's what intrigued me. And as soon as he was on his feet again, he wasted no time pursuing his dream. His summer replacement job at Chicago's WCFL wound up lasting eight months. There is a Peoria, Illinois. Next stop, applying for a job at WPEO in Peoria. He said, you don't have the year's experience that we usually require, but I think that you have a heck of a potential. Harrison showed that potential by bringing the station to the top slot within six months. With this rapid success, Harry was asked to come to New York's WMCA-FM, and in 1959, he became one of the famous good you know, guys. Uh, a lot of people ask me, how did you get to New York anyway, Harry? While there, Harrison became known for his upbeat attitude and trademark phrases. Every brand new day should be unwrapped like a precious gift. I always wanted to make a contact with the audience. I wanted to, uh, to really let them know that I cared about them. And the listeners cared about him. When he made his move to WABC in 68, they turned their radio dials to the new station. As the morning drive personality, he woke up nearly four million people a day. The listeners supported me all those years. In 1980, when Happy Harrison moved to be the morning mayor at Oldies WCBS-FM, they followed him once again. Harry Harrison, the morning mayor on CBS-FM. So how did Harry stay on the air in New York for over four decades? Thanks to nice people like you, I'm still on the radio. The guy on the radio is not a phony. The guy on the radio is me. Like anything in life, I think we should all, uh, you know, try to be uh, as good a person as you can. Harry Harrison, one of the last radio greats, enjoyed every moment of his career. And in 2003, he did his last morning show live to crowds of his loyal listeners. Not one to take retirement lying down, in 2004, Harry returned to WCBS-FM for another eight months. His fans were delighted. That's what I wanted to do, make a connection. Thanks to all my radio friends everywhere uh, who've been with me all these years. It's been my pleasure.